Alrighty, well, good evening everybody, and well, for the first time ever, I'm gonna try out the uh, Killer Instinct game. Um, this is like the, uh, the latest and the greatest, like, the one that came out like the early 2010s or something like that. Now, at least statistically, my computer is not gonna be able, should not be able to run this. And so, I'm not even gonna bother trying to stream this. This is something I like to do whenever I come across a new game. I would rather stream it. I would actually try, yeah, I would actually try to stream it and not just do a gameplay video like I'm doing now. But like I said, my uh, computer is a potato, so chances are pretty good it's not going to be able to run this game. Uh, but let me do something here real quick. Okay. So. So I guess um Okay, there we go. Um run performance test. Test your computer's performance for online play. Uh Okay, I'm guessing this is gonna be a total utter failure. Like I said, my computer Statistically, my computer can't even want to be able to run this. So far, I'm not seeing any major hiccups or anything. Okay, well, that's a big surprise. Score a uh, thousand twenty nine out of thousand. Reflections off, anti-aliasing on, motion blur off, bloom off, and texture quality high. Damn, okay. Well let's go let's go to here to graphics. Alright, so But I do see one drawback with this is um my uh I can't see my uh, mouse cursor at all. Like some of these games if, you know, if you move your cursor off outside of the screen, you should be able to see it. Like, um, I, you know, I got the taskbar on the bottom. I got the uh, blue borders. Ah, oh, let me see. Let me see here. So, yeah, like, um, I can't use my uh, mouse cursor at all. Yeah, it, because, uh, it go, it blinks into non-existence the moment I go on the window. So, yeah, this is going to be a problem. But, uh, apparently it seems to work. So, um, from what I understand of this, I could pick one character, which, and, um, this girl here, she is the reason I picked this game up. Um, I, I watched a documentary on this game, like, yesterday, and, uh, one of the newer characters that came up was Hisako. She's, um, she's a character that's based on my all-time favorite horror movie. Uh, Ringu. Hey, I'm, I'm talking the Japanese version, by the way, not 
Not the Americanized one. She was supposed to have a Naganata weapon. Looks more like a big old looks more like a big old samurai sword than anything. Yeah, I can't even see what's on the bottom. So Yeah, this is already gonna be a problem. So my only option now is to set it to full screen. So let me go back. So yeah, it's gonna have to be full screen. Now the second problem I'm gonna have with this, or let me do something real quick. Yup, it's gonna be a monstrous, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing it on my OBS right now. But like I said, it's gonna. Yep, there's the all black transition. There's the uh, black screen transition period, and it didn't even go to the damn game. Still won't go to the game. It's still not going to the game. Try this. <clears throat> yeah, it's just refusing to. So. Can't go full screen on it. Alright, so. Gonna have to kill the game and restart it. Oh, I can't even do that. Yeah, it won't close. It won't close, and I can't go to the damn game. So... Oh, that's the first. I have a game that refuses to die. So. All right, so. Looks like I'm, looks like what I'm gonna have to do is I might end up having to actually restart the computer, which is kind of a bad, which is kind of a bad thing since, you know, like I haven't even started actually playing the game. And already I'm getting problems with it, so yeah. So let me go ahead and let me go ahead and uh, restart my computer. So I'll have to kill the video moment. Or I'll have to temporarily kill the video. So okay, and I'm back. Um, <clears throat> luckily I didn't have to restart the computer, but it seems that uh, <clears throat> Killer Instinct doesn't play nice with my OBS program here. It's what I'm using to record this game right now. So I had to close out OBS in order to get back to Killer Instinct. And I turned off full screen, so... But again, I'm gonna have the... I've got a major problem with, uh... Well, this is a nice bonus. 
Um, at least I can move this up or down. Okay, um... So... But it... Let me, let me go over here, single player. Okay, um, let's go over here to Dojo. Now, now I'm hoping I can, um, I can still use it. Nope, I'm stuck with Jago. I mean, I'm guessing that means there's no air dashing, there's no air blocking. So, never been a fan of those. Yes, I got slow reflexes. Damn. Okay, and this is another good thing too. Um, you can block these either. Uh, you can block mid attacks, standing or crouching. Um, some games, I think Virtual Fighter comes to mind. Um, you can't block mid attacks while crouching. Could just hold back hold back the entire time but it doesn't feel right Um, 
Uh, not with me. Yeah, that's one little quirk about myself is I have very slow reflexes. So, it's basically if I if I block or parry or if I counter your attack, it's because I guessed right. So. Picky, picky, picky. so far. Based on all the opponents blocking. That was an achievement. Okay, yeah, that, so what we pretty much have here is an auto combo, it works just like Dragon Ball Fighters. So yeah, you can just sit there and spam one button and you'll eventually do one. Oh, I'm taking a drink of, um, Arizona green tea right now. Miss that one.
too early. Wrong one. So yeah, so far, based on that, this kind of resemble again, this kind of resembles Dragon Ball Fighters. In fact, I think I said this about my cast video, from what I from from like what I saw in the documentary and some of the other game footage. This is basically uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, except it's just one on one. It's not a team based game. So. Okay, I'm gonna replay this. There was a there was a text that I missed. I wanted to read it. Wrong one, wrong one. be something I'd want to use with a might want a macro with this one if possible so it looks like there is but you're pushing three buttons yeah you're pushing three buttons not just two I hope that'll So you, what I, what I just did is um, I'm pushing up uh, LB, yeah, LB and uh, LT. Dreaded motion inputs. So, which means I get to mangle my controller even more. 
Suckers ain't cheap either. I gotta pay like 60 bucks for one. Dumb around, how's it, neck cutter? You know, I, I would actually rather do this tutorial with Asako, not Jago. Yeah, but I don't want to master Jago's attacks. I want to master Asako. Like I, like I said at the start of this video, she's the reason why I'm wanting to play this. So this is kind of like what um this is kind of like what I, I know Street Fighter 4 has it I think Fantasy Strike has it right when you throw somebody you you just input the direction you want to throw them So it looks like here you have to move backwards first So interesting Uh, I think this is a more advanced move right here. Tick throw. I get what you mean. There we go. Okay, I gotta, I gotta pull the cord. I got I have to pull my controller cord out. Come on. Okay. I ain't got the reflexes for this. Yeah, I don't have the reflexes for this. It's like, it's like either, either I can throw him or he throws me like that.
So, and again, sorry, I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, but I've got very slow reflexes. So, by the time I've comprehended the move that you're doing, it's too late for me. Those that might be confused by the statement, what this means that is it, how fast it travels depending is depends on which punch button you do. Um, if you if you do Endekin with a light attack, it moves slow. If you do it with a with a power attack with a power punch or a strong punch, excuse me, then it travels faster. Theoretically, it's great for anti-air, but again, by the time you're jumping, by the time you're jumping into me, or by the time by the time I've comprehended that, it's you're you're it's too late. You're probably gonna get your kicker punch off or what it is, whatever it is you want to do. Oh, I'm taking a drink of uh, Arizona green tea, by the way, and um, I am gonna have to end this here fairly soon too. So we're. We're kind of going over long here, so I'd probably say in 30 minutes will probably kill it, because as it is right now, this is going to take up a huge file size. So, which means it's going to take me a good chunk of the night just to get it uploaded. And I know, uh, in the first Killer Instinct, you know, the arcade game back in the 90s, you could sit there and just do, uh, if you can get a rhythm going with the motion input, you could just sit there and just, you can just keep spamming that same light, the same wind kick all day, just, what up, 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 like over and over.
Yes. Good fucking God. Okay, and what job? Um... Like I said, it's a it's a guessing game. Um I'm hitting the wrong. Gee, pay attention, Joe. One. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to bail out of this. Okay, so, um... So, yeah, that's gonna do it for me for right now. Um, but so far, from what little I've seen, uh, this game's definitely a go, but I didn't... I wanted to... I wanted to actually try, like, doing a match or something just to get a good idea as to whether or not... to whether or not how well this works. But, like I said, the verdict right now, this game is definitely a go. Um, and I... I... I might try to stream it once... If only so I can say, oh well, I tried. But but again, that's that's probably gonna have to come at a later time. I mean I gotta I gotta actually like this game first. Like I said, I'm only in the tutorial stage right now. So But anyway, um I'm just gonna go ahead and call it good. Um but otherwise hey, thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate that and uh I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.